Hi there, my name is Zoe, and in this video we're going to be looking at how to do walking hip slides. So this is a great way to get started learning how to layer in belly dance. Layering is extremely, extremely important in belly dance. We use it all the time. Um, and layering can refer to many different uh, sorts of combinations of movements, but it always will refer to combining or layering one type of movement on top of another one. So um, one very common one that we have would be layering a shimmy on top of another move, like an undulation or a camel or something. So for example, like this. And we could also layer our shimmies on a foot pattern. So here, doing a shimmy and doing a box step at the same time. Or we could have a uh, torso or hip movement layered over a foot pattern. So we could have an undulation and that step at the same time. And we're going to look at that sort of... Uh, type of layering in this video, or we could have all three, but we won't get into that in this video. So uh, in this video, we are going to be taking our basic side to side hip slide, and we're just going to be getting used to walking with it. So this is really to get you started on mentally and physically separating your hip movements from your foot movements, which is very, very important in belly dance. So let's begin and let's just start by reviewing the hip slide without any feet. So we are just going to have our legs together and slide our hips very gently from one side to the other, really stretching the oblique muscles along the side we're sliding the hips to. And be very sure that you are not bending and straightening your knees as you do this. We want to keep the legs out of it, have the knees be slightly soft, but not bent, so straight, but just not locked as you do this. And that should also help free up those hips. So just get that going. Great. And now we are going to add a step with it. So we are just going to step on one foot, lift the other foot in the air, and as we step, we're sliding our hips in the same direction as the foot that we stepped on. So we step the other way, slide the hips out. Step and slide, step and slide. Really lift your other foot off the ground to make sure you're changing your weight. And take small steps here. So keep those feet close together. That's going to make the hip movement really stand out. If you take a big step, uh, the hip movement isn't as clear. It doesn't look as big. Even if you're doing the movement as big, it won't look that way. If you keep your feet together, the hips will be really noticeable. So just try that. And again, uh, this one, I would really recommend if you can get a mirror or record yourself. Go in front of it, make sure, try to wear something around your hips and check that that line is staying horizontal because it can also be very easy once we start adding the step in, adding the walk to start bending, straightening our legs, which we do do naturally when we walk and then the hips start coming up. So you wanna really concentrate on keeping that very, very horizontal line as you step. So once we've got that, we're just going to do the same thing, but walking forwards with it. So again, small steps, nothing too big. We don't want to throw off our balance and we don't want to overwhelm the hip movement. So small steps here, just getting used to stepping and sliding at the same time. So going backwards, and forwards. For now, we're just going in the same direction as we're stepping forwards here. And one more time, backwards. 
Good. Keep those hips horizontal. You're going to really feel this in those obliques. Also make sure you're keeping your pelvis neutral, so no releasing of the pelvis. And let's try to speed it up just a bit. This is also really fun to do if you want to put on some music. Just walk around keeping those hips horizontal. And forwards. And back. Okay. So that is the first step. Starting to get our hips separate from the feet. Of course, in that case, we are actually doing them both at the same time. So to really, in our minds, be able to separate the hips, we are now going to do double hip slides for each step. So what that means is every time I step, I'm going to slide in both directions. So we start out stepping, sliding, keeping your weight on that foot now, slide your hips the other way. Now you're going to step onto the other foot. This time, your hips will be sliding in the opposite direction as before. So before we always had our hips sliding in the same direction we were stepping. Now when we're doing doubles, every second step, your hips will actually be going in the opposite direction from the foot you're stepping. So hip slide two and slide two. It's gonna feel a bit weird, especially when you go slowly. Slide two, but this is very, very good to get you to be able to get those hips separate from the feet. Keep going, two, slide, 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 slide. Let's do it on the other foot so that we get to try both sides. So stepping and sliding, and now no step, but slide. Stepping and sliding in the opposite direction from the foot with the weight, and now slide the other way. Step and slide, step, slide. Slide, 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 slide. Slide, 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 slide. Great, let's try that going forwards and backwards, so a bit trickier. So pick a side, doesn't matter which one, and let's go. Stepping and stepping. Slide, 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 slide. Good, let's go backwards. Two, slide, 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 slide. Good, a few more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's try that on the other side. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, good, slide, 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 keep going. One, two, three, four, keep those hips horizontal, pelvis neutral, and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. We're gonna drill all that with music, but before we do, let's try it a little bit faster with the doubles. See if you can do it. If not, stay with the speed from before. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Again, forwards, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the hips horizontal. Back, back, back. And let's do the other side. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And again, forwards. Five, six, seven, eight. And back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wonderful. So, this again is a really great exercise. I do this one in my classes all the time in the warm up. Um, yeah, it's really important just to get that in your body and to get you on the path to doing even more layers. So let's put on some music and we will drill all of those variations. So we will do walking forwards and back. We'll start with just the singles, nice and slow, and then we'll speed it up. And then we'll do the doubles again, slow and then fast. So you get to practice everything. So 
Let's give it a try. a walking hip slide, a great introduction to layering in belly dance. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please do give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, please go ahead and subscribe, share with this video with any friends who might be interested. Thank you so much for watching and happy practicing.